everyone this is siddharth here i um, hope you liked the last tutorial today we are going to have a look about this how we could create this gravity effect so first of all what you need is you need a plane or a box so let's take a box let's give it this much effect hit f4 for the edge view and now i need two spheres let's create them just put them at the center just drag them down one down and just make another copy and hit auto key at 10 or 15 frame just drag it up at the height where you want to reach the fusions uh, matlab uh, it's like the similar height which you need for the explosion so just keep it a bit down over here so here we go here we have the animation and now what i need is i have to add a tie flow also i need a tie spline as you could see there is a bit uh, spline over here so for that i need a tie spline so go in the spline menu and just click a tie spline now what i have to do is first of all go in the tie flow and start with a birth object so just click it and just pick the box now i need a voronoi structure Let's keep the value to around 100 points and at the down change the scale to around 0.6 or something this change the box to sphere also i need a physics x shape Let's keep this to zero now i also need a physics x switch change it to kinematics now i also need a surface test So I'll just take a surface test. Just drag it over here. Now, what you need is you have to pick the animating sphere, which is going to hit the ground. Let's pick it. And now you need another at the distance. Change the value to okay. That's going fine. Let's add a display to see the effect. So this much area is affecting. That's quite good. Also, I need a. I need to go in the physics X and just disable this gravity, cause we need. We will create the gravity with the help of force. Disable the gravity. And now what you need is add a physics collision so that and now pick the sphere shape to add the volume so just add a physics shape and now see the explosion is working quite good to reduce the chaos i need a slow so you will see this is not going too far let's increase it to 10 around and you will see this if you increase it a bit more you know 15 or something it will be like stay in the air or you can see freeze get freezed So that's fine. Now I need a bit spin also, so I will add 
around 2. So you will see the spin is also reduced it's at 10. That's perfect. Now I need another Voronoi fracture to give them a bit more. So here we have this effect. Now just hit auto key and just drag this a bit up. Perfect. Okay, now I need a time test to just keep the whole thing at a particular time that attracted to this and get over the ground. And you'll see over here after a this time interval you see all the particles get attracted to a point or you could see just hit back to the ground so for that i will use a time test just drag it over here and now what you need is to add the event so i need it to be equal to 80 or something let's change it to 80 and i don't need any variation so just keep it to zero so at the 80 frame you see you can't see anything because there is no display event over there so let's add um, let's drag it down a bit you see at 87 frame it was to it's, it's perfect and now what you need is you have to attract them to a particular point so for that I use this sphere now I'll just drag a fine target and over here add this to this point so here we have the gravity effect you can change the spin to then just keep it to 5 around. It's perfect. If you need to blast this, if you need to blast this at this point, you have to add a bomb over here to explode them. So let's add a bomb, but before that, let's add a splines over here. So for that, Go in the type flow and at this point add a birth event. So let's add a birth. So let's add a birth. And at this point, just change this to the explosion point from where it can hit. So around 5 will be fine. So let's put the end and start value to 5 just change, decrease the total number of particle to 50 or 30 whatever you want and now what you need is you need a position icon or a so for that let's grab a position icon so let's add this let's drag it to the center drag it a bit down it's fine keep the pointer up like this and now just go in the type flow and add a position icon so we could emit the particle from the ground now add this position icon over here and you need a speed to emit the particle so for that add a speed just drag it up and in the speed you have to do a bit changes like first you need to change the uh, direction to along icon arrow and now 
uh, what you have to in you do is to you have to increase the magnitude around four or something just of this to see the vertical skip it to pixel or just change it to small dot that's fine it's not working at cause we didn't add the position icon so just pick over and go in the speed and pick the position icon and you will see it's going like this also i need the trails for that we all know what we use we use a spawn and in the spawn we need to add it around uh, to uh, we change this to by travel by distance we change the step size to one and it's perfect we don't need to add anything and at this point add a uh, delete and change this value to event edge and keep it to around 40 that's fine just keep it to zero and we have to add a bit more thing over here so first of all i need a stop so just add a stop And also, I need a decrease to around 3 or something. Keep it to 30, I guess. This will be perfect. This point, add a particle bind. Just drag it down. Just decrease the stiffness to 1. Just decrease the best to around 0.8. Going it down. Now what you need is you need a particle physics. So just go over here and add a particle physics. Let's add a force to give it a bit turbulence or something. So let's add a force over here. So let's try. Or you can use this point when. Use a tie wind, just draw it like this, and put it down. Now go in the force and pick this, just keep it to point one and add the turbulence to point five or something. This first over here, Change this to be around 60 or something so we could reach this. And now I have a spawn. Spawn just or we need to add a path. So for that, go in the spline. Take a spline like this. Fine. And at this point, to keep this particle go up, what you need to do is you need to add this spline. So just go in the particle flow and add a path follow. So here you will get a path follow effect. Just 
put it over here Just pick the spline and over here just change the value to around 0 0.05 variation to 3.5 here attraction is 7 and z influence keep it to 0 and spin velocity to minus 3.1 let's see creating to 96 around you have to play with the values so you could achieve the same effect as I got Let's change it to more you will add more it gets spread it Change this lining or could just simply reduce the total of the particle to 10 or something. Now go in the path follow. Or something so here we have the particle and the explosion so let's if you need more speed just go over the position a speed and increase it to around six or something so it goes much faster so in my case I will add it to 10 or something this point let's change it to 30 or around 25 so here we go and also at the point where the particle get attracted to the ground I also need these splines to get attracted to the ground so for that I need a time test over here also so let's take a time test event equals around 30 or something and also add a display so you could see the difference Change it to around 60 or something. Oh, perfect. Now I need a uh, just drag this fine target over here. And now it's working fine. Let's add a spline. So just 
what it over here change this property to siblings and now pick the spline which we had already taken earlier just drag it to our let's see what it looks like so here we have this effect now what you need to do is go over here and add a tie spline measure let's change it to around 0.15 and reduce this like this increase to 0.25 also you can change its curve value or like this if you need to put the edge just keep it down and you will see there's a thin part on the edge and the wider part at the middle so we have this effect you could play with the values to achieve more different type of results and now what you need if you need to blast at this point so just you have to do is you have to take a p bomb so let's add a p bomb over here just put it over here just drag a bit up and at this point change this to change the uh, range to around the so fine that's perfect change it okay just to trim starting point should be 140 around so let's add 140 and duration should be one and strength to around 30 or something and at the tie flow just go at this point so you have to take a property test from this point or you need a time test let's add a time test at this point change it to equal to 80 or something change it to equal just keep it to 80 and just reduce the variation and now what you have to do is you need the force so let's add a force so we can connect the explosion with the bomb and pick the bomb so let's see working fine so also I need the gravity to pull down this particles so for that I also need a time property test so just add a property test over here just drag it over here and at the property test what you need to do is you have to change the position the type test to velocity magnitude change over here and just keep it to greater and change this to around 5 or something let's add a display let's connect it force and also a physics x particle so just add a physics x and also force to for the gravity, just add a force around stem should be minus 0.1. And if you need more break in the particles, just add a Voronoi fracture over here. Let's see the result. So here we go, the effect. So now what you have to do is just click them, go in the object property and change this to displays box and unhide the uncheck the renderable. Now let's see what we created.
So thank you very much guys. See you in the next tutorial with some new elements. Hope you like the tutorial. So if you like the tutorial, just hit the like. And if you are new to the channel, just hit subscribe if you like these type of contents. Thank you very much.